In this video, we will consider the following problem. If a person's speed while traveling from point A to point B is S1, and their speed when traveling from point B back to point A is S2, what is their average speed for the round trip? Now a common misconception here is to say that the person's average speed is simply S1 plus S2 divided by 2, simply the average of the two speeds given in the problem. But this is actually incorrect, and in this video I'll show you why. We know that the person's average speed is equal to the total distance they travel divided by the total time their journey takes. If we call the distance from A to B D, then the total distance traveled for the round trip must be 2D. Now to get the average speed, we have to divide this by the total time, which I'm going to say is T1 plus T2, where T1 is equal to the time it takes to go from A to B, and T2 is equal to the time it takes to go from B back to A. Now the next step in this process is going to be determining what the values of T1 and T2 are in terms of S1, S2, and D. And the formula that's going to be useful here is speed equals distance over time. And we can rearrange this such that we're solving for t, and we would get time is equal to distance over speed. Based on this formula, we can determine that t1 is equal to d over s1. The time it takes for the person to get from a to b is equal to the distance between a and b divided by their average speed from a to b. We can apply the same logic to t2, and we would get that t2 is equal to d over s2. Now we can plug this information into the formula on our right, and we would get 2d over d over s1 plus d over s2. Now the rest of this proof is fairly algebra heavy, and we can start by simplifying the denominator of this fraction a little bit, and we would get 2d over ds2 plus ds1 over s1 s2. Now to further simplify this, we need to multiply the top and bottom of our fraction by the reciprocal of what we have on the bottom. I'm going to skip the intermediate step here for the sake of time, and ultimately what we end up with is 2d times s1 s2 over ds2 plus ds1. If we cancel out the common factor of d in the numerator and denominator, we get 2s1 s2 over s1 plus s2. And so this is the person's average speed in terms of the variables s1 and s2, which were the only variables the problem provided us.